Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers from previous versions of Angular. In the last episode, I showed you the difference between app module and why there is no app module in Angular 17. I hope you have gone through that tutorial because it's extremely important to have the understanding because there are a lot of breaking changes in Angular 17. That being said, today we are going to learn and see the difference because you would not see any app routing module in Angular 17. Let's get started. I will do a comparison of Angular 16 project along with Angular 17 in order to give you a better understanding. That being said, let's get right into it. This is part 13 of the series. If you have missed out on the first 12 parts, make sure that you go through them in order to have continuity to your learning and also to master Angular with me. Today we are learning about the difference of why you will not see app routing module in Angular 17. All right, so first things first, Angular 17 is standalone. I'll keep repeating it till you get into your head. Angular 17 is standalone because it is not dependent on any modules. All right. Till Angular 16 and below, every Angular application needed at least one module, which used to be called app module. And hence, since it is not dependent on modules, you will not see app module. You will also not see app routing module. Very, very important thing because a lot of you are used to configuring configuring routes in app routing module but now you will not see app module you will not see app routing module instead you will see a file which says app routes file I'll show you in just a bit with where you will define the routes however that being said can I create my own custom routing modules surely we can create like I said angular 17 is backward compatible which means you can create your own routes, you can create your own modules and much more. So now I'm going to show you the comparison between Angular 16 project and Angular 17. And then I'm going to show you how you can implement a routing module in Angular 17. All right. So process this episodes very, very carefully in your mind, get a good grip, get a good understanding of it. That would make your life easy and you will enjoy your projects much more. All right, now let's jump back to code. Okay, so I have two projects um, to give a context. If you are new here, I have created an Angular 16 CRUD application called Credit Card Admin that's available as a source code in GitHub also. Make sure that you get an access to that and go through the tutorials. All right, so let's expand the source and app in Angular 16. Before that, let me open up the notes so that we can make some notes. All right. So this was the notes we created for app module. Why you didn't see that? Now I'm doing Angular 17 versus Angular 16 and below with no app routing module. Okay, let's go ahead and bring it to the top. All right, so like I said, number first, Angular 16 and below needed at least one module that used to be called app module the routes were defined in app routing module and imported into the app module okay this used to be the regular flow that is what you can see here in angular this is angular 16 the other is angular 17 so you see you have app routing module dot ts okay so you had all this routing module in Angular 16 and below. Okay, that is app routing module. Okay, so you had app module and you had app routing module. You can see here you have app module, app routing mo module. But in Angular 17 onwards, when you expand the app, you will not see app module you will not see app routing module okay app module is gone totally and in place angular 17 onwards you have app routes dot ts you can see here 
AppRoutes.ts. Now this is where you will define the routes. Okay. Now you can call it AppRoutes.ts file or just I'm just calling it AppRoutes. Okay. Because that is the class that get that gets uh, used. Okay. So now you see app routes is what is used and you import that in app config.ts okay so here we were injecting in angular 16 and below in you were importing app routing module into app module okay that is what you were doing now what we are doing we are importing app dot routes dot ts into app config dot ts okay that is one of the main differences between angular 17 and angular 16 and below applications okay here you don't have module instead you have something called app config dot ts okay that's where all the initial configurations would go <coughs> and here you will write providers and you are providing the app config now this app config is what is used everywhere in your application okay now if you open your main.ts you can passing the app config you can see here so you send the configuration to main.ts and not through app module okay so remember that app config is sent to main.ts here angular 16 and below you would send app module to main.ts okay take a look at both again carefully first angular 16 take a look this is angular 16 you have your app module and you have your main ts and you are sending app module okay because you had modules in angular 16 in angular 17 <coughs> we have app config.ts that's what you will inject and this is what will be sent to your main.ts which is what app config is reading okay so this is very very important okay so this was about the difference but the question comes can I still use routing module in angular 17 the answer is yes okay the answer is yes can I still use ang routing yes because angular 17 is backward compatible okay so let me show you example now <coughs> So what we are going to do is I am in that particular crew management project which is angular 17 okay so let me now collapse angular 16 which is collapsed very good now you see I don't have any modules in my angular 17 application let me probably run it first okay so it's built it's running if you are liking this tutorial comparison please do hit that like button for me all right so I have a simple app component that is showing up and nothing crazy all right so the application is working without any module okay now what we will do is we will run these two commands now what they do is I'm simply generating a module and I'm saying that I will need routing and then I'm generating something in the like a lazy loading module and injecting inside learning okay so that's how you can have custom routing module let me show you right away so the command you will run it run is ng generate module followed by module name and hyphen hyphen routing you're saying I need routing for it so ng generate module module name I'm giving uh, let's say timetable and hyphen hyphen routing so this will generate a module and a routing module see here it generated a module it generated a routing module correct so the idea is you can still generate routing module with this command okay just like how you were doing in angular 16 or below okay I hope this makes it clear as to why there is no app routing module it's replaced with app routes app routes goes into app config and we can also still use the routing module if we want for our custom modules just like how I showed you here by running this command okay now you can create a lazy loading out of it you can inject it and do anything that you want okay you can even define a custom app module also if you would like to do that but the whole point is it's standalone okay 
I hope now it's clear as to why there is no app module. Now I hope it's clear as to why there is no app routing module. I hope it's clear that why and where the routes go now. The routes go in app routes. It goes into app config. App config goes into main.ts file. All right. Perfect. Now we'll continue learning about components. These two topics were brought to us by one of our viewer. Thank you for that. And we'll continue learning standalone components. If you have any topics that you want me to cover, write to me in the comments. I'll be more than happy to cover them. We'll continue learning Angular components, which is standalone components in next episode. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.